Hello. Hello. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. Well, welcome to our uh, doctrine class. We are studying the book of what? Thanks na kayo, medyo kinakabahan eh. Uh, last week, Brother Sam taught us about chapter 2. And uh, today, we will be studying chapter 3. And uh, please bear with me. I would like to be honest. I'm not good in English. But for the sake of our Kenyan brothers, I will uh, try my best. Amen. <laughs> Let us uh, open our Bible to the book of Acts. Chapter 3, verse 1 to 11. Yeah. Acts chapter 3, verse 1 to 11. Let us all read. Let us read all together. Ready? Read. Now, Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the night hour. And a certain man lay from his mother's womb was carried, whom they gave daily at the gates of the temple, which is called beautiful, to ask sounds of them that entered into the temple, who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked us. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, and gave it unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold I have none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and go. And he took him by the right hand, and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. And he lifted him up, stood, and walked, and entered with them into the temple, walking, leaping, and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. And they knew that it was he which sat for us at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at which had happened unto them. And as the layman which was filled with Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them in the court of Solomon's great economy. This is this is story is uh, this is a story when uh, two apostles, Peter and John, are about to enter into the temple to pray. They saw a layman, layman yung lumpo in Tagalog, ask arms, nangihingi ng limos. Uh, Peter said, silver and gold I have none, but such as I have given thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And the layman immediately was healed. Amen? Working, leaping, and praising God. Let us pray. Uh, Glory, Heavenly Father, Lord, uh, thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity to study thy word. Lord, uh, we ask again the Holy Spirit to guide us, give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding for us to understand your word. May we glorify your name, Lord God, and uh, give all praises and thanksgiving to you. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So, in our country, we always uh, experience power shortage or what uh, uh, rotating brownout. Most of the time during summer, for sure it happens also in other country. I don't know, maybe in Kenya, for sure. <laughs> but you know, there is no power shortage with God. Amen? Amen. Amen. In the passage, uh, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 to 21. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. You know, God is able to do all that we ask or think. Amen? Amen. Not just like that. If you see there, exceeding abundantly above all. Imagine what uh, God can do. In verse 21, unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, word without end. Amen. And in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. So, so handout nyo. May I see your handout? Uh, number one, 
let us uh, make this uh, interactive because I know you are sleepy. Uh, we will answer <laughs> the clones. So, what's the answer? Ito yung clue? May clue. What's the answer? Prayer. Oh, tama. The prayer of the disciples. So, letter A, the priority of prayer. The priority of prayer. Uh, if we will see verse 1, Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. For the early church, prayer was a consistent presence in their daily lives. With crisis, if they have problem, they pray intensely. But uh, also, if there's no problem or without crisis, they still continuously pray as normal as eating or working. So for them, it's a habit. In Acts chapter 2, we can see here in Acts chapter 2, verse 42, and they continued steadfastly in apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in what? Prayers. Uh, prayer is important, amen? amen. That is why we are uh, that's why we have prayer meeting every Sunday. Members are praying for our church. Members are praying for our family, for our jobs, for our missionaries, for our pastors, and for the sick. But the question here is uh, do we prioritize prayer? And uh, do we give importance to our prayer meeting every Sunday? Sometimes uh, we don't even know what the church are praying for and uh, what the members are going through because we fail to attend the prayer meeting. Often we come late. That's what uh, I admire, our brother Chris. They are always uh, early, every services of the church. Considering they have kids, they have four kids. So it's not an excuse. So we should be early. Amen. Uh, prayer is a priority. Amen. Amen. Uh, one of the overriding characteristics in early church was prayer. No prayer, no power. And uh, on your handout, it says there. No prayer, no power. So, ipalam natin sa Panginoon yung mga panalangin natin. Number four, the pattern of prayer. During their time, prayer was a regular daily activity. It is part of their daily, it is, the, it is part of their regular daily routine at around 3 p.m., they will go to the temple to pray. There's no definite prayer pattern. Like Daniel prayed three times a day. And uh, uh, David prayed each morning. The Lord Jesus Christ also prayed in the morning. We also pray three times a day, right? <laughs> every breakfast, every lunch, yeah. every dinner. <laughs> That's, uh, that's normal to us. We are faithful. So, uh, what we are uh, emphasizing here is that prayer is a priority. And uh, we should give importance to our prayer time. And prayer, our prayer should be consistent. Peter and John went to the temple to pray. They continued steadfastly. In prayer. So that's number one. So number two, what's the answer? Block of the disciples. Ito yung clue. So number two, the purpose of the disciples. Letter A. To see the needs of others. 
There's a man at the gate of the temple asking alms to Peter and John. Peter saw the man's name. He fastened his eyes on him, which indicates a strong focus. Let us see verse uh, 4. Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. It means uh, Peter, it indicates a uh, strong focus. So how about how about uh, how about us? Do we get so busy even in our worship that we fail to see the needs of others? Busy lang ba tayo na attend lang tayo ng attend pero hindi natin nakikita yung problema ng iba? So let us uh, be sensitive sa mga may mga problema. I know maraming may problema. This morning lang I heard uh, someone, Brad Reyna, may problema, malaking problema yan. And uh, I will pray for you, Brad. And let her be not only to see the needs of others, but also we need to meet the needs of others. First John chapter three verse seventeen. But also have this word good words good and see that his brother have faith and shut it up his powers of compassion from him. How do I let the love of God in him? So they could offer no silver and gold, but they offered a manifestation of the power of God. Each of us has been blessed with something that we can use to help others. You know, uh, Peter knew he can do something. Peter knew he can do something to meet the need of that layman. He knew that God is with him. Amen? Amen. And uh, he knew that the power of God can heal that man, that uh, lame man. But uh, how about us? How do we like Peter? We know we are capable to help others. So let us help others. By sharing the word of God, uh, we also, we can help also others by sharing the word of God. Amen? Because by sharing the word of God, we are helping them to meet the most important needs in their life. Amen? Which is salvation. Peter said, Silver and gold I have none, but such as I have give I thee. I have God, and that God is powerful. Uh, yung just ni Peter, yung din yung just natin. Amen! Amen? So let us help to meet the needs of others. Another verse, Proverbs 19, verse 17. He that hath pity upon the poor, let it unto the Lord, and that which he hath given, will he repay him again. Hebrews 13, verse 16. But to do good and to communicate, forget not, for with such sacrifice, God is well pleased. Amen? Amen. Amen. Helpful thoughts on helping others. Our resources are limited. God's resources are unlimited. Amen? Amen. Our duty is to get from God what others need. We are to be channels of God's blessing. God's bless. So, number two. Number three. Number three. What's the answer? Flow. Flow. Power. 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 So, <laughs> <tami lang, di> <laughs> sing. So, number three. On verse seven, he took him by the right hand and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. So we see here that. Uh, uh, Peter did this. Uh, ito ba yung kapangyarihan ni Peter? No. Let, let's see. Letter A, power in the name of the Lord. Amen? The power to heal the lame man was not Peter's power. It was not because Peter took him by his right hand and lifted him up. It was the power of the Holy Spirit working through Peter. Amen? In verse 6, then Peter said, Silver and 
silver and gold I have none, but such as I have be my deed. In the name of who? Jesus Christ of Nazareth said, rise up and walk. Amen? It is uh, because of the Lord Jesus Christ. Even uh, the Lord Jesus Christ uh, already ascended in heaven, Peter knew that Jesus Christ is with them uh, through the Holy Spirit. That's why uh, we are doing something good for the Lord. When we are doing something good for the Lord, it is not by our own. It is the manifestation of the Holy Spirit working through us. Remember in uh, John chapter 15 verse 5, I am the vine, ye are the branches. For without me, we can do nothing. Without God, we can do nothing. Amen. Amen. It's all uh, because of God. It's all because of the Holy Spirit na kumikilos sa buhay natin. So, also Peter, it's, it is not the power of Peter. It is uh, the power of the Holy Spirit that is in him. Amen? Amen. Okay. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 7 But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Letter B Ah, hindi pa pala. A pa. Uh, whatever, uh, whatever ministry God entrusted to us whether you are Bible study leader, choir member, church worker, or you are involved in a transport ministry, cooking ministry, hospital ministry, actually maraming ministry ang church, please be reminded that we are able to do different ministries because of the power of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Sometimes we become uh, boastful when uh, we accomplish uh, many things. So, that's the danger of being watchful. The glory and honor for all the good that is accomplished through our work for the Lord belongs to Him and not to us. Amen? Amen. So, let her be. Last. Power in... Mas, medyo mahirap ito. Walang clue eh. Power in... Praising the Lord. Amen? There is uh, nothing like a transformed life to get people's attention. In verse 11, all the people run together unto them. We see here that uh, when they saw a miracle, all the people run together unto them. Why? In verse 10, they were filled with wonder and amazement. Because uh, they see the layman, they knew that it was he which sat for arms at the beauty, beautiful gate of the temple. They knew that uh, that layman, uh, the Bible said, since birth he is lame. And uh, the Bible said daily, nandun siya sa gate ng temple. So they 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 are uh, they were amazed. They were filled with wonder and amazement because uh, this is a miracle. Imagine since birth, hindi ka na naglalakad. Tapos araw-araw mo siya nakikita sa entrance ng temple. Tapos nakita mo ngayon, uh, not only uh, standing, not only walking, but leaping. Tumatalon siya. Uh, our God is a wonderful God. Amen? He is a, he is a powerful God. We can use our chapter 5 verse 17. It says there that, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Amen? Amen. People, uh, we are uh, drunkard, we are chain smoker, we are womanizer. Not all of us. Uh, not all of us. We are. <laughs> we are gamblers. <laughs> Amen. Good job. <laughs> But uh, the Bible 
Jesus said, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, He is a new creature. Amen. Sabi dito, All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So, that miracle, we can use that miracle to win others. Amen. 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 When God changed the life of a person, it's a miracle. Amen. Uh, mabibigla ka na lang, Doc, nagiinom to ah. Pero anong nangyari dito? Dati, adik to ah. Pero anong nangyari sa kanya? So, yun yung miracle. Na pwede natin silang mawin because of our testimony. We can win them because of our testimony. Pero po, English. Uh, I will uh, give it to Pastor John for conclusion. Si Pastor John po ang matusuloy. Sa conclusion, there is no power shortage with God. False teachers may have imitation power. However, the Lord Jesus Christ has all power. Amen? Amen. Romans chapter 1 verse 16 For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. Amen? Uh, when we are sharing the word of God, it is not our own power. It is the Holy Spirit that convicts that person, and uh, all glory belongs to God. Amen? Uh, this is stories. Uh, ito yung pinapakita na kung gano'n ka makapangyarihan ng ating bangka. Thank you. That's all. Brother, how can you put the first three in sa conclusion? As we look at that. Yung isa ka, Brad. Before that one. Before that one, that one. Can you just put that there? Okay. Thank you so much, Brother Ronald. Were you blessed? Yes. Very simple. Very simple. That's I love listening to lessons that are can be done. The prayer of the disciples, and then number two is the the purpose of the disciples, and the number three is uh, the power of the disciples. In your handout under number two, uh, meron tayong mga nilagay na mga additional na material dyan, no? uh, uh, regarding help helping others. Uh, please start to look at the Let, Just give me maybe three minutes or four minutes as we read these verses here and then we will be done. Okay? This, this, we are early today. Let's go. Okay? Luke chapter 11. I want to see verse number 5. It has something to do with helping others. Helping others. And always remember that verse in Proverbs 19 verse number 17. It's also in your notes. For the Bible says, He that hath pity of the poor, the Bible says, Lend them unto the Lord. Diri mo yan. Pag ikaw ay may awa sa mga nangangailangan, may utang sa iyo, Panginoon. Matitiyo. And the Bible says, And that which He hath given, yung ibinigay mo, doon sa mga nangangailangan. Will He pay Him again? Ang Panginoon ang magdawalit sa iyo. So when you help others, you are actually lending unto the Lord. And what you are given, the Lord Himself now will uh, will will pay Him again. Now, if you read some verses by the Ronald in Luke chapter 11, this is a classic uh, uh, story about helping those who are in need. And He said unto them, Which of you shall have a friend and shall say unto him at midnight, uh, and shall go to him at midnight? And say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine, in his journey, is come to me, and I have nothing to set before him. So, here is a story about three friends. Brother Martin, will you please come here? Help me. Okay. Here is a friend. Uh, Brother Bitwell, will you help me? Brother Bitwell, you come here. Okay. Uh, let me just illustrate this. Okay? And Brother George, come here. Uh, this is... Okay, you stay here. Okay? You stay here. Now, this guy in the story, he had a friend.
friend who came to his house in the middle of the night. And he had nothing to offer his friend. But he had a friend. So he goes to his friend and asks for three loaves. Not for him, but for his friend. If you will notice the verses, can you please uh, press those verses? I want you to notice one word here. Okay? There is one word here. I don't want you to miss. Can you move back? Okay? Can you move back here? Luke chapter 11. Are you there? The verse is verse number, uh, verse number 5. I have preached this before, but there is a verse here I'd like for you to notice uh, a word. And he said unto them, Which of you shall have a friend? Okay? He has a friend. And shall go and pray at midnight. I'm sorry. This guy has a friend. Okay? Am I right? And say unto him, Friend, what have you noticed about the word friend? Capital F. It's capital letter. Okay? This guy has a friend. He comes to him. He has nothing to offer. And so this guy comes to this friend. Capital letter F. And ask for something that he can give to his friend. That's why in our notes you see, uh, you see some truths here. Our resources are. Is there anybody here who is sufficient in your resources? No. Everybody has a need. So our resources is limited, and that is the reason why we cannot share to others because we think our resources are limited, not only limited, but extremely limited. That's why during offering time or help the needy offering, it's hard to reach in our pocket because we need, we need the money that we have. So if we share it to others, then uh, it will affect our budget. So our resources are limited. But we, we learned something here that although our resources uh, is limited, we have a friend whose resources are never limited. Amen? Amen. And our friend is not you. Our friend is the Lord. Okay. Now God is a rich God. Amen. Amen. He owns the cattle in the thousand hills. He owns everything. The silver is mine. The gold is mine. He said, and all the food is the wrong. Okay. He owns everything. And so our resources are limited, but God's resources are unlimited. Now our duty is to get from God what others need. You understand? So it's good when you pray, uh, uh, because people are all, uh, people always have needs. And it's it's good sometimes for you to pray and say, Lord, will you please give me extra money? Not my salary, but Lord, can you give me extra money so that I can use it to help others? You might be surprised if maybe your company will give you increment or something. I don't know what will what God will do, but if you pray, if you have a desire in your heart. To help others who are in need, the Lord will just like the story here. Our duty is to get from God what others need, and we are to be channels of God's blessing. So always be mindful of helping others. Amen. Amen. You may have a need, but you know what? If you were to look around, there are always others around you who have greater needs uh, than you do. Thank you so much, Brother Robert, for teaching this very, very uh, simple and yet very very timely um, lesson for every one of us we learn about the uh, what's number one the prayer of the disciples and then secondly is the purpose of the disciples and number three is the power of the disciples and yung sinabi ni brother Ronald na when we accomplish something now great okay uh, we should be careful not to uh, uh, to to be proud about it because uh, it's not us. It it is the Holy Spirit of God working in our lives. Uh, so uh, think about those things. So go through this lesson, and uh, we have Friday school here. We have the morning service uh, outline here, and the afternoon doctrine class. You take this material and study through the week. I'm sure you will learn uh, more. Uh, lessons as you uh, as you take these notes and study it for yourself. Brother Neil, you please come and uh, lead us in prayer.